Boom, boom, there. Nice. Hi and welcome to Tips Tuesday. This episode, we're gonna show you how to hit a driver. I'm Terry Pilkadaris. And I'm Rory Heap. And combined, we have four Asian tour wins and 20 years experience on tour. In this video, we're gonna explain how to hit the driver and how to hit it straight. We'll break it down into three key steps that if you can combine, should help you to drive the ball better. Step one, set up with the driver. First thing we wanna work on is ball position. Ball position is paramount when hitting the driver. I like to see the ball position inside your left armpit. The second part of the setup is working out how much you've got to stand. You've got to bend over or stand up more upright or more bent over. So what we're going to check here, Rory, take your right hand off the club and put it on your knee. So if it goes just above your knee, that's your ideal setup point. This setup, it promotes hitting up on it a little bit more with the driver. Perfect, and that's what you want in the driver to maximize your distance. Exactly. You want to feel as though you're hitting up on it. Step two, picking the target. One of the most important factors of golf is picking your right target to hit the right type of shot. As you can see here in our distance, we've got some bunker, fairway bunkers and we've got trees. Now, general rule is you want to go high. So looking at targets on the trees tends to eliminate looking at any of the bunkers. So if you go high, you're not going to see the bunkers. Right? So when Rory picks his target, he's going to tell me where he wants to start the ball. I'm normally a drawer of the ball, so I'm going to pick a target right of where I want the ball to end up. So in this case, I'll be picking a, that crane on the right, the tallest crane on the right. Best way of picking your target is picking something two or three feet in front, or four feet in front of your ball. Something like a tee or a divot. I've got the tee here as a clear area to identify what you've got to aim at. Pick a target which is four feet in front of you rather than 250 metres down the fairway. So easier to align in this position. Step three, swinging within yourself. Many programs I see the amateurs, they're trying to force it and try and hit it too hard and they get very tense. I like to use the analogy, if you're going on the dance floor to have a dance, you're going to be nice and soft and relaxed. It's the same thing with the golf swing. You've got to keep your arms and your hands nice and soft so it allows the club to flow. So Rory, what do you normally do when you're uh, trying to swing within yourself? Yeah, when we play these tournaments, we tend to get a little tight, uptight uh, when the pressure is on. So what I like to do is I like to imagine a good player's golf swing before I step up to the ball. So in my case, I always try to imagine Fred Couples' golf swing because his swing is very long and nice and smooth. So that's a good image for me to take when I walk up to the ball. Perfect, great little analogy there. So there you go guys, if you want something to try there, there's always a few different ways to do it. You've just got to work on a couple of ways to think what keeps you relaxed and hits you good shots. Let's see us how you do it. That's like free couples. Boom, boom there. Nice. Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Comments below. Don't forget to click on the Asian Troll logo to subscribe and click on the link for another video.